<laughs> hey guys, it's Renovate here, and I am playing on a uh, a really cool server with a bunch of YouTubers that I used to play with, and some new ones too. And this is called District Forty Two. Look in the description below; it has all the information that you need to know. And uh, yeah, so I'm not gonna re be recording this as a a a permanent series. I'm just gonna do some check ins every once in a while. And, uh, but this is a really cool mod pack, guys. It's nothing but cities. So every biome has a city, and uh, it just repeats. And it's kind of cool the way it's, it's set up. And it's got some tunnels and everything. But I'm playing with Undeniable One. Make sure you check out her. She usually streams, but make sure you check out her streams and her videos. And also Link the Killer, he's helping out. And uh, we're, just, we're just having a little bit of fun. And uh, right now, I'll show you what we've gotten so far. Actually, they did a lot of the building. Um, they spent like six hours on <laughs> Labor Day, or something like six hours, seven hours. Uh, but they got a farm set up here with pretty much every plant that we could find. Yeah, and these cool doors. Uh, oh, oh, how, dude, how did you get out of your cage? You want some bread? Here, I think I can get him back in there. Oh my god, these things are weird. Alright, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, let's see, left click. Eh, nope, hold on. I can do this, I promise. Eh, there we go. That's what we're trying to do. Here you go, man. You want some straw? Come on. Follow me. Into the cash bar. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, look, I'm hurting around. Go crazy. Stay in there. All right, so we're breeding cows. Uh, so you can see kind of, if you look up on my my uh, map up at the top, it's kind of got some, I think I can actually show it to you. No, nope, can't show it to you there. Um, all those little yellow squares, it's kind of weird. Hold on, guys. Is that better? Yeah, it's better for me. I can hear myself. It's like talking into a tunnel. Um, but they they claim this building as the place to start. Spawn is about 200 blocks that way. That's my room right there with no 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 uh windows and uh, i think uh undy is about two rooms above me and i think link is actually in the basement there's a really cool mob room over here um uh, pretty much they spawn way up at about 20 some blocks up they fall down hit some spikes and uh, they die and then all the xp is going in here uh, <clears throat> excuse me and that's not 159 player levels that's 159 xp level so this is probably equivalent to I don't know. Um, it's going to be higher than 159 levels. But it's getting all transported into here. And the other stuff that we don't want goes into this energy condenser. And it's making diamond blocks. So that's that. Uh, the mod pack really isn't that difficult. It's actually uh, geared so that you can get pretty advanced pretty quickly. Um, but here's they got all the tinker set up. We have a transmutation transmutation table set up. we got a couple little uh, Ender I.O. stuff going on here. Uh, Tinker smeltery over there. We've got some extra utility stuff going on here. And then I've been working right here in the black floored room setting up mechanisms. So that's what I've been doing the past couple hours. Right now I just have all the enrichment chambers set up. we got uh, the uh, carbon one on the bottom. This is the redstone one and this is the diamond one. We'll probably need another one for the uh, purple, whatever it was called, condense, uh, compressed obsidian. But there's not very many recipes that use that, so I'll probably uh, let one of these run out and just throw some obsidian in there for what we need. Uh, but right now I'm setting up a three times ore processing. So we got the, uh, the, the pump right here, even though it says enrichment chamber, and this says rotier, rotary condensator. It's not. Uh, I love how the, the titles are still messed up. <laughs> Okay, so that's messed up, and um, it doesn't require a infinity pool of water. It just requires one water block, uh, so it makes it really compact. So this is pumping water into here. It's separating it into oxygen and hydrogen, 
and I am making currently the purification chamber and you guys just happen to be jumping on and watching me right as I started making it. So we need to go into, uh, I don't want the elite version, I just want the regular version. There it is, basic purifying factory. So we have the purification chamber, I think. What did I make? We got the enrichment chamber. Yeah, oops. <laughs> All right, purification. This means the enrichment chamber, there we go. So, um, yeah. So I think I gotta go like this maybe? I think this is the recipe. There we go. Yeah, we got those two. Okay. And then I need those, and I think we got everything we need. Let's try. Um, enrichment, 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 enriching. Oh, there it is. Basic uh, enrichment chamber. Um, no, I don't want to do... I want to do the purification one. See, this is what I did last time, and I screwed myself up. So this requires a purification chamber, which includes that one. It makes a purification chamber. And so do we have enough? So that's a purification chamber. That's all I wanted right there. Now, I already made the basic smelting factory, so I don't know if I need to make the... I don't know if we need a, a, to have enough to do a the factory version of this. Um, it doesn't take very much to make the factory version. I'm just afraid that we don't have enough power. And let me show you what, what we're doing for power right now. Um, I set this up today at lunchtime. Oh, where'd it go? It's one floor down. Yeah, so... This is old school. <laughs> if you've, if you uh, uh, ever seen like some Skyblock series, this is a really, this is a really cheaty. Or I don't say cheaty. It's a really easy way of making lava. Uh, you basically have these crucibles, which is an unfired crucible. You throw it in a furnace. It makes these. If you put lava underneath it, if you look up there, it's got a uh, a burn rate, and basically it takes cobble and and turns it into lava over time. And so uh, I was trying to use the the uh, I forget what it's called. Um, uh, oh, I was just using a regular, uh, just a plain Jane cobble generator with lava and water, and the uh, extra utilities transfer pipes for some reasons for our transfer nodes didn't work. Like when you put the upgrades in it, it would crash the server or not the server, but the client. But it's uh yeah it's a thing. So. Uh, I went ahead and upgraded uh, Lincoln Un uh, Undeniable. Already had this as a tier two, so I upgraded it to a tier five. At tier five, this thing creates uh, one cobble, uh, or I'm sorry, twenty cobble per second. So it's 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 one cobble per tick, and there's twenty ticks per second. I think is how that goes. Uh, so this thing fills up really quick, and this thing uh, is is packed to the gills. And you can see there the liquid lava value is four thousand. And all these other ones are getting filled up, uh, but it's actually getting put into here. And so I also made upgraded this so that we could have the uh, increased power generation. And then we have the more efficiency. So I'm gaining, uh, it, it turns it into 160 RF per tick, just this little tiny thing here. So I'm going to make a bunch of these, and that's going to be our power. And it's actually in between, so we could run power down, and I can run power up like I did for the uh mechanism parts up here so the mechanism parts is up here uh-huh and so yeah so we made did we make this thing yeah purification chamber i'm just gonna go ahead and put it down for now uh there and it's gonna fill up with the oxygen and i'm right now just i'm just gonna i don't know if i want to dump the hydrogen or not you know i think they actually have a hydrogen generator on here let's check Hydro. No, not at Hydro. I gotta get used to this. I know I said I was gonna quit playing modded Minecraft, but I wanted to help out. So, um, nope, this isn't what I'm looking for. Uh, it would, though, power up our, or fill up our jetpacks, wouldn't it? Yeah, I think there is actually a, a generator that runs off of hydrogen. I think it's just a, a gas generator. So, anyways, um, this is gonna be the purification chamber. And I forget how this works. I don't know if, let's see, does it go in here like this? And is it keeping up? It's not really keeping up, is it? Nope, so we'll have to do some gas upgrades. So that turned that into an osmium clump. And then the clump goes into the smelting factory and then, or some other machines, and that's what we're getting ready to make. So. I'm going to make the other machines. I actually have the smeltery factory already made, 
But let me get the other machines real quick. It's really dark in here for some reason. Oh, it's because it's nighttime. Um, and then I'll show you how this works really fast. This is just going to be a quick, simple, uh, not so much of a tutorial, but just show you how it works. And, and that's going to be my video. I'm just going to keep it real short and snappy. I'm going to try to keep it past 10 minutes so that I can monetize it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, I'll just, I'll, I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, kiddos. Uh, so I made the the uh, crushing factory, and right now I'm making the second uh, machine, and it is the uh, enrichment chamber. I actually already made the enrichment chamber. Maybe I I haven't. Uh, let's go into enrichment chamber and make that in enrichment chamber. And I'm missing some redstone. Let's make the redstone real quick. One, two, three, four. Now I should be able to make it enrichment chamber. Wablam. And then to upgrade it, I need to go to the basic enriching factory. And I need all that stuff again. Alright. Um let's see enrichment chamber. Yeah, let's go and make the factory version. I think it's gonna be it more useful to make the factory version than to not have it because we'll be able to process three times. I don't know if that's really gonna make a whole lot of difference right now but um maybe later on when we get a little bit more advanced and get we the only thing we have right now as far as for mining is a, a little quarry that's sitting out in the the mining dimension and it's only powered by a sterling generator so it's not like we're out there seeking uh, ores right now but when we do get the ores it'd be nice to maximize our output as much as we can so let's head back downstairs I need to put a crafting table up there. Um, and let's go into here. And basic uh, enrichment factory. And what am I missing? Did I get not get the right thing? Oh, I just need redstone. Okay. One, two, three, four. There we go. All right. So that will be our basic enrichment factory. Wow. All right. And then we're going to put that up here. Whee. And it's going to go right here. So now we got to set all these up to output. So this needs to uh, input gas and then output. We'll do auto eject on and we'll output dark blue. All right. And so on this side, we need to audio auto eject on. We're going to input dark blue. Boop. Um, why will it not? Um, input dark red. Output dark blue. Input dark red. <laughs> oh, uh, no, this is gases. Why do I need gases for this? I don't need gases. Uh, strict input, dark blue, output, input, dark blue, what the fuck, output, dark red. I don't know if it matters or not. This is weird. Um... Output dark blue, input dark red. But this isn't, in, I can't do this one as an input output to dark red though, can I? Can I do output dark red? No, see, that doesn't make any sense. What am I doing wrong here? Um, input, output dark blue. Maybe they're just maybe they're just the titles are wrong. We're just gonna do this. Let's we'll do red, and then this is will be red and out blue, and then this one will be uh, dark blue out red. Yeah, auto eject on, and then this one will be what was this one? This one was red, so this will be input red, and then we'll output the top. That's dark red output there none none 
None. Okay. Um, and then this will auto eject on. And so this is all set up. So we just need an or. So what should happen is I'm going to put this or in here. And by the time it gets to here, it should be what six ingots is that right i don't know let's try it out so it's going to go into here it's not making any noises currently and it's going to make one of these a clump all right and it didn't spit it out so transportation configuration uh output what is this set to input on input dark red so we're going to do output dark red. Did it spit it out? Nope, sure didn't. So, um, all right, there it goes. It goes in there. And this is going to cook it up into dark, dirty osmium dust. So we need to set this up as... Uh, what was this one? <laughs> we just gotta keep them all the same, right? <laughs> Output dark blue. <laughs> Output dark blue. There it go. And then we need to go up here and output dark blue. Auto eject on. Um input red probably. Yep. Output dark blue. This is gonna cook it up even more. So from the one, we got three. The three got cooked up into this. And this is sending it over into here. Okay, so each ore, we're going to get three. Which, that's not bad. So we're going to get three ores. Yep, there we go. So that's cool. Yeah. So there's your three times uh, ore multiplying from mechanism. Uh... This was a bit of a short video for me. Uh, I'm glad you, go, you guys watch. Make sure you should check out Undy and everybody else in the CCN YouTubers Network. Also, Link the Killer. And I'll see you guys sometime soon. Bye bye Oh, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the like button, too. I forgot about that. It's been a while.